morning viewers welcome to Akshaya Vlogs and Crafts. Today we are going to see about the temple at Kadawal Hindu Temple in Hawaii. First I would like to give my experience which I want to say. I have seen, I have been seeing in the Moon TV every day around 5 last time uh, they show this Murugan when the Kandashashti song is going on. Now it is around 6 o'clock, they show this Murugan and uh, the Abhishekam that they do and the way they do and the Lord Murugan attracts me a lot and every day I want to see him more and more. Recently, a few days back, I was asking this Lord, Lord Muruga, where are you? I want to know where, which place you are and uh, i've been asking a lot of friends whether they know about this murugan um, so far nobody told me and uh, later my mother said that this murugan is in hawaii and the place that it is is called kadawal hindu temple and uh, it is being uh, monitored by a, a montessori and uh, this was um, Earlier, she said that this uh, Guruji has come to Malaysia when we were young. He came to Brickfields. The place is Scott Road and it is uh, the temple is Kandasami Temple. And he has distributed a lot of uh, small, small pictures related to Saivam. A lot of uh, meanings given behind the pictures. My brother, my brother had a lot of collections of it. And he still has a few of them after that only i started to look up for this uh, god and now i want to say share this uh, about this temple with you all viewers come let's go into the temple scene kadawa is our nataraja temple established in 1973 the temple is open daily for puja from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. This temple is a traditional Sri Lankan style Siva temple. It is the spiritual nucleus of Kauai Adinam. The temple complex also known as Kauai's Hindu monastery. It is the primary temple for the resident monastic who meet here each morning for Shiva puja in the early hours before dawn. The monks rotate in three hours vigil round the clock during which time they worship, meditate, chant, practice Sanskrit and perform personal spiritual disciplines. The sadhana has been maintained in unbroken continuity since the temple was established in 1973, adding to the temple's profound power which changes the lives of many a visitor, much like the ancient temples of South India. Supreme God Shiva is enshrined in the main sanctum. It is the form of Naraja and a crystal Sivalingam. In front of Shiva's sanctum is a 700-pound, 3-foot-tall, naturally formed crystal Sivalingam, among the largest known Spadika Swayambhu Lingam in the world. That will one day become the primary image of worship in the hand-carved white granite Iravin temple now being built nearby on the monastery property. Six foot, six foot tall, black granite murtis of Lord Ganesha and Lord Murugan Kartigaya riding on a peacock and thus called Shikivahana are installed in two side shrines. There is also an Adana Ishwara murti and an elaborate silver Trident, Trishula, symbol of God Shiva's three fundamental powers of desire, action and wisdom. Lining the main walls of the temple is a rare collection of Shiva's role, Tandava, dance, powers in 16-inch tall bronze icons covered with gold leaf. The shrine for the temple's founder, Sadguru Shivaya Supramanya Swami, affectionately known as Guru Deva, from year 1927 to 2001, was established to the right of the entry door on the first anniversary of his Mahasamadhi. 
just in front of the temple stands a lava rock and redwood timber pavilion for nandi the bull she was mount and devotee a giant form weighing 32000 pounds carved from a single rock a small temple tank as bronze statue of saint samandar dancing joyously karol temple is open to the public every day from 9 am to noon vigils continually performed in the kadavar by the monks every 3 hours 8 times a day 7 days a week 52 weeks a year from march 12 1973 to today the kadavar hindu temple follows the saivite tradition the oldest of the four main denominations of hinduism in the tamil language of south india our religion is known as saiva samayam or simply saivam we worship the one supreme being as god shiva and lords ganesha and murugan whom god shiva created to assist him in the care of his great creation in saivam shakti is god shiva's manifest power and is not separate from him this is depicted most clearly in the image of god shiva as artha narayanar whose left side is female and right side is male in the kadavul there is no separate deity representing shakti for in our tradition the supreme being is neither male nor female but encompasses both it is said that the most powerful temples are those founded by the gods themselves through visions kadavu hindu temple is such a temple guru deva describes his vision and the events leading up to the temple's foundings at maha shivaratri time in 1973 in the jungles of kauhai our kadavu nadraja deity lord of the dance arrived at kauhai adinam and was placed in the gardens overlooking the sacred Wailua River where it was where it was spontaneously decorated bathed and worshiped that night the exact location of the deity's installation was chosen by Lord Muruga himself when he appeared to me in an early morning vision upturned his glistening veil his scepter of spiritual discernment and powerfully pounded its point three times on the cement steps at the adinam entrance marking the precise spot to place the deity this mythical vision marked the founding of kadavul hindu temple shortly after the installation of nadraja deity guru deva received what he called a magical boon of reading clairvoyancy from the hinna plain manuscripts which he then dictated to his monks over a two year period these writings from the devas and mahadevas form the shastras spiritual instructions that now guide his monastic order during the same time guru deva received demonic directions that written prayers could be sent to the inner world devas by being burned in the sacred fire inside karol temple on auspicious days hundreds of prayers from all over the world are offered into the fire temple fire the magical happenings and answers to these petitions have become part of the temple's renown writing and delivering prayers to the devaloka through the sacred fire is an ancient nada samradhya practice today this method of communication is still employed in shinto and toist temples in japan china singapore malaysia and other areas of southeast asia the prayers are written down and placed in this temple fire in the temple fire as the paper burns the astral double of the prayers appears in the devaloka the prayer is then read by the devas who proceed to carry out the devotee's request that these temples devas are fully dedicated to assist all who come through the temple doors with their emotional mental and physical problems hi viewers if you have the chance to visit hawaii please do go and visit this place 
it is very 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 nice to just see the lord from the tv itself if we are able to see him in nearby that is direct worship that will be even even more better because this lord is very powerful we can all feel it let us all pray that we have a chance to meet this lord and also other lords in this temple okay viewers thank you for listening bye bye